And I say smut and filth like this has no place in our schools. Fascist. I like these her pain. Mrs. Kessenick, Mrs. Kessenick, that book you're waving about is hardly smut. It is considered by many critics to be the classic novel about the 1960s. It's pornography! No, 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 the Supreme Court says it's not. And its author, Mr. Mann... He is sick! Terence Mann is a Pulitzer Prize winner, and he is widely regarded as the finest satirist of his time. Yeah, well, I think he's a pervert. He's probably a communist, too. What planet are these people from? Mr. Harris, the so-called novels of Terence Mann endorse promiscuity, godlessness, the mongrelization of the races, and disrespect to high-ranking officers of the United States Army. And that is why right-thinking school boards all across the country have been banning this man, S-H-I-T, since 1969. Excuse me, madam. Excuse me. Terence Mann was a warm and gentle voice of reason during a time of great madness. He coined the phrase, make love, not war. While other people were chanting, burn, baby, burn, he was talking about love and peace and understanding. I cherished every one of his books, and I dearly wish he had written some more. And I think if you had experienced even a little bit of the 60s, you might feel the same way, too. I experienced the 60s. No, I think you had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. Annie, look at this. Oh, yeah? Well, your husband plowed under his corn and built a baseball field. That's right. Now, there's an intelligent response. Annie. The weirdo. <laughs> Annie. Honey, it's all right. I'll be cool. At least... He is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. At least I'm not married to the biggest horse's ass in three counties. All right, Beulah, do you want to step outside? Fine! Uh, Annie, Annie. Annie. Uh, well, all right, sitting? all right, honey. I've got a better idea. Let's put it to a vote, all right? Who's for Eva Braun here? Who wants to burn books? Who wants to spit on the Constitution of the United States of America? Anybody? All right. Now, who's for the Bill of Rights? Who thinks freedom is a pretty darn good thing? Come on, come on, let's see those hands. Who thinks that we have to stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin? <laughs> All right, there you go. 